Hi everyone, welcome to the Java Data Structure video lecture series. So in the previous video, we have learned about the stack concept and in this video, we will learn about the queue. So what is queue and when to use it? So this video will be like an introduction class. Okay, so let's get started. So you can see that the people here are standing in a queue to process something which is going to happen like they are waiting in a queue to process their book library book issue so, and it always follow the FIFO principle so it always has two end front of the queue and the rear of the queue in the front of the queue the execution or the processing happens and on the rear side we can put some more elements on the that side so when to use it if we want to represent a group of individual object prior to processing then we should go for the queue concept okay and it always follow the FIFO principle and it has to end rear side and the front side okay so what is the difference between a stack and the queue concept in the previous video I have told you about the stack in which we have only one end top end on that end only we can insert or delete any element but in the queue we have to end rear side and front side okay so whatever the insert what the insertion will happen which will be in the rear side and the insertion is called in queue operation and the deletion is called dequeue operation and which will happen on the front side of the queue okay this is just a convention but you can use rear side for dequeue and front side for in queue so you, you just have to implement a two end data structure in which one end contains the insertion part and the other end contains the removal part okay so like in stack in queue insertion and deletion also have order of one time okay the main entity of the queue is like in queue that is insertion dequeue that is removal of data front or the peak method which is re which returns the front element rear which returns the rear element is empty to check whether a queue is empty or not is full to check whether the queue is full or not okay so we will learn more about its implementation in our next coming videos so till then stay tuned and look for the next slide so in queue operations insertion will hop always happen on the rear side whereas deletion always happens on the front end side for example here we have a queue okay and we want to insert like we want to insert six on six so it will be added on the rear side so insert six on the rear side so our final queue looks like this and if we want to remove any element element then it will be removed from the front side so the front side will be 59 will be removed and 26 will be our new front element if we will remove further 26 will be removed then 94 you can see that the rear part is still still there but the value of front is decreased uh, okay so thank you for watching this video in the next video i will tell you about its implementation how you can implement your own queue using simple array concept and till then stay tuned don't forget to like share and subscribe and